Well, hi everybody, it's Doug. No picking going on today. Instead, it's package day. And in my usual manner, I was poking around on Facebook Marketplace and managed to stumble on two locks from the same seller. They were individual and I uh, gave them a, a combined price uh, that discounted the pair. And he went for it and mailed them right off to me. So I've got two locks in here. Um, one's a kind of, uh, well, I, I guess let's open it up and I'll talk to you about some of the history. But uh, I did a little bit of research about the locks, found them on antiquepadlocks.com. And let's take a look at what we've got inside here. I'll try to get them by feel. Got stuffing. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to try to get the one that I'm targeting first. Okay, there we go. That is this beautiful lock. And let me take a look. It is really nice condition. Um, this is an original key. And it looks like they uh, really greased it up. I'm suspecting that they tried turning it and figured it didn't work because they didn't know about push keys. Look at that. It's beautiful. Maybe they did know what they were doing. It is really nicely lubricated, nice and smooth. Now, the reason this caught my eye is because you may recall I got the twins of this one, and this is sort of the Yale-shaped body. But when I had looked it up on the same catalog page with that one, which I just showed you, Below it was this one with that sort of kind of unique pipe. It almost looks like it's made from pipes, which is a really a cool design. So I noticed, I recognized that in this as soon as I saw it. So that is a beauty. There is some, I don't know, there is some cast of rust on there. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but... I'll at least do a cleaning with, uh, I don't know, maybe try hitting it with a little Brillo pad just lightly, or I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I could just oil it up and keep the finish that's on there. I don't really want to change it, but wow, does that move? That is much smoother than the, uh, the ones that I have. And you can actually tell by the style of key that it's a flat keyway and, uh, and where the more modern one uses the traditional uh, ridged key. That one's flat. So this is obviously an older key and thus an older lock. So that is my number one find. I'll tell you about the size of the purchase, the price momentarily, but then I found with it this one. This is a nice chunky. I'm actually very, very happy with the size of this. This is a nice chunky Corbin. This one will be getting some kind of cleanup. I'll have to see. But comes with a chain. And I did some research on this one. Um, found this patent from uh, related to Corbin. Again, found this on uh, antiquepadlocks.com. But um, that appears to be the one with the patent. And I, I'm I'm of the feeling that this is probably like a Yale lever lock, but I am going to try to get in there with, uh, by the way, 1910 is that patent. So, But I think, I feel like I'm going to see if there is some form of uh, warded approach to this or not. Probably not. So this is probably newer than that patent because, like I said, it seems to be more in the world of the offset Yale. If you remember how the, the Yales, if you had the keyhole in the center, then it was a traditional warded lock. But if the keyhole was off-center, it was more likely that lever approach. So we'll have to do some fishing around, see what I can get in there, see if I can 
find some dead bugs and stuff. <laughs> Lots of spiders and fun things. So another beautiful one. And like I said, this one's going to be getting some clean up because it is on the rusty side. So there we go. Two brand new padlocks for my collection. Um, I don't suspect that I would be able to do any picking on this Corbin because, I mean, uh, this Sergeant, because I've never had luck, but I'll uh, poke it for a second. Okay, breaking in here for a moment, because after I finished taping the whole video, I decided to try single pin picking. Did not have any luck on this Sergeant, but I decided to try raking. And it takes a little bit of effort to get the right touch. It takes a very light amount of tensioning but, and remember that tensioning, what you're really doing is, there we go, we got it open. Tensioning, what you're really doing is pulling the cylinder, which is the shackle and the cylinder, that way in order to tension instead of turning it to tension. So there we go. This is rakeable, and I'm happy I got it. Alrighty, thanks everybody for joining me. I do appreciate it every single time you drop in. Please do leave a like, leave a comment. Let us know how you're feeling about the videos. I'll keep them going. Thanks everybody. Take care. Stay healthy.